In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to integrate JotForm with Excel through Zapier, making your life easier by automating data transfer from your forms directly into a spreadsheet. Let's dive into the process of creating this automation step by step, ensuring you can follow along even if you're new to Zapier or have never automated tasks before. First off, we'll start by visiting Zapier's website. Once you're on their homepage, you'll notice an option to log in. If you've already got an account, perfect. If not, no worries, you can quickly sign up for one. For the sake of simplicity and speed, I recommend logging in with your Google account. It streamlines the process, especially if you're already logged into your Google account in your browser. After logging in, choose your preferred Google account to continue. This will take you to the main dashboard of Zapier, where all the automation magic begins. Look for the option to create a new Zap. Zaps are what Zapier calls their automations, and creating one is as simple as defining a trigger and an action. In our case, JotForm submissions triggering an action in Excel. To set up our Zap, we will start with the trigger. Select JotForm as the trigger application by typing it into the search field. Following this, you'll need to choose a trigger event, which for us will be new submission meaning our zap will spring into action each time a new submission is received on our JotForm. Once you've chosen JotForm as the trigger, Zapier will ask you to connect your JotForm account. This requires you to log in to your JotForm account if you haven't already. After logging in, you'll be asked to authorize Zapier to access your JotForm account. Rest assured, this is secure and Zapier won't access anything beyond what's necessary for our integration. With your JotForm account connected, it's time to shift our focus to the action part of our zap. This is where Excel comes in. Search for Microsoft Excel in the action search box. Here you'll be choosing what you want Zapier to do with Excel once it receives a submission from JotForm. For our purposes, we want to create a new spreadsheet row for each form submission. This action lets us compile all submissions in a single Excel sheet automatically. Now before we can proceed, Zapier will require you to connect your Microsoft Excel account in a manner similar to how we connected JotForm. You'll be prompted to enter your Microsoft login credentials, follow the steps to authorize Zapier, and rest assured, like with JotForm, this connection is secure and Zapier will only access the Excel functionalities necessary for our integration. Once your Excel account is connected, it's time to map the data from JotForm to your Excel spreadsheet. This is a crucial step where you tell Zapier which piece of data goes into which column in your Excel sheet. The beauty of Zapier is that it gives you a user-friendly interface to select which form fields correspond to which columns in your Excel. After you've mapped your data, it's always a good idea to test your Zap. This test step sends a test submission from JotForm to Excel, allowing you to ensure that everything is working correctly. If the test is successful, you'll see the test data appear in your Excel spreadsheet exactly where and how you expected. Finally, once you're happy with the setup and have successfully tested the integration, it's time to turn on your Zap. With the flip of a switch, your JotForm submissions will now automatically flow into your Excel spreadsheet, saving you the time and hassle of manual data entry. And there you have it, you've successfully integrated JotForm with Excel using Zapier, this automation will not only save you time, but also reduce the risk of human error in data transcription. Remember, the world of Zapier doesn't end here. There are countless other integrations to explore, each designed to streamline your workflows and make your digital life a bit easier. That wraps up our tutorial for today. I hope you found this guide helpful. Happy automating, and I'll see you in the next video.